Well, last day of March, um, it's actually turned out to be quite a nice day, so out um, in uh, one of my permissions that um, uh, we got a while back, and uh, we've not really done very much here, um, so I'm out with George anyway, and um, he's away down the other end of the field, and uh, anyway, I've been here not, not three minutes, um, had a really good solid 95 signal, dug it out and right here in the bottom of the hole is my first find of the day which is a sea fishing weight so somebody's been doing some casting practice in here okay right well that's a start let's see what else it is Well, that there, that little spot there, is where I've just had that fishing weight. And here, that's another solid 95. Um, very, very deep. Looks like first corner of the day. Just see the rim in there. Um, where's it gone? Ah. Or possibly a button. No, nope, it's a button. Okay, well, that's a shame. All right, button then, keep moving. Oh, another solid 95 here. Um, I took the sod out and uh, turned it over and as you can see that is the imprint of a coin. Uh, looking down and the coin itself is uh, right here. Okay we have a oh nice Georgia second uh, half penny. Irish half Georgia second Irish half penny. 1720s I think if I remember rightly 1720s 1730s and in quite nice condition too all right well that's a nice little start for the morning right let's see what else it is Well, here's a nice little find here. Um, it's a bit of a scratchy signal. Um, it was sort of going between 7, 16, um, up through into 85, 95. Um, but then it started getting a bit solid, so I thought I'd dig it anyway. Glad I did, because uh, bottom of the hole there, um, how come, I think I've scraped it actually, but it's a, a really nice little toy cannon. Cool, um, and, and it seems to be complete. These these are generally um, sort of 60, uh, sorry, 17th to 18th century. Um, uh, I've had a few, but this is a nice one. Okay, really like these, and uh, hey, we're doing all right here this morning. Yeah, another um, signal here that started off scratchy and then I took the sod out, it turned solid, 95, and uh, okay, this came out, now, see I've dinged it a little bit again, um, I really don't know, I think this possibly, possibly might be a really small palm guard, um, possibly, I don't know, maybe for a young boy, an apprentice or something, um, who knows. We'll give it a clean. Um, there seems to be some markings on it anyway, but all right, another find. Well, 
Well, this is a solid 95 signal, um, but really, really deep. I mean, here we go, look, full length of the pro pointer plus, I don't know, an inch or so, maybe two inches. So it's got to be about eight, nine, ten, good ten inches down anyway. Um, so there's the sod. Now, underneath the sod, um, pull this lump out and it's split. And as you can see, right, there's the uh, part of where it was. Right at the bottom of it, we have this. Now what this looks like is a very, very old lead weight. Um, I won't know if there's anything on it until I've washed it properly. But it certainly has a lip on both sides. And I'm pretty sure that's a lead weight, quite possibly medieval. All right, that's, that's could very well be a really nice find. Right, let's keep moving. Well, nice little signal here, a uh, solid 95. Um, took the sod out and uh, nope, still in the hole. So put the shovel in, as you can see. Um, brought the shovel out um, right here. Okay, now this, very dark, but to me that is silver, uh, a love token, and quite probably um, William III. Okay, all right. I, I know. I, I, I've had at least a dozen of these, um, but that's certainly what it looks like. Uh, turned over, yep. Okay, great. So, right, let's lock this and keep moving. really hot uh, now at lunchtime. Um, okay, it's uh, 10 to 1. So we've done, well, it's almost two and a half hours. Uh, pretty, pretty good uh, morning so far. Anyway, um, right, signal here. Good, solid 95. Um, okay. Yep, right in the bottom of the sod. Okay, there it is. Looks like another coin. I think. Yeah, I think this is another coin. Um, uh, probably George III, this one, I think, by the... Looks to be quite thick. And, uh, yeah. All right. Nothing spectacular, but, uh, hey, my third coin of the morning. So I'll go and see how George is getting on now, um, and uh, we'll probably stop and have a cup of coffee and give it another couple of hours for the afternoon. Great, right, let's keep moving. Coming over to see what George has got now. Um, he's got a actually quite a nice uh, thick halfpenny there. Um, let's try to look at this. Yeah, I think this is George II. Yep. Okay. Yeah, there he is. That side. George II. All right. That's a not too bad nick. I might clean up nicely. Okay, that's a good one. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, furniture fittings, buckles, um, webbing buckles, ease. Ah, George got a weight as well. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, another clog clasps. Yeah, got the clog clasps there, look. Here. Yeah. More buttons. Lumps of lead. Um. Stuff. <laughs> yeah. 
And uh, all right, gotta take them back, mate. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oop. Okay. All right. This is. Uh, this could be quite an old one. Um, it's uh, uh, it's for the rains going through. It's a bit of tackle, I think. Um, harness fitting. Okay, we'll get that one checked out. But that could be quite a nice find as well. Hey, we're doing all right, mate, aren't we today? Yep. Yep. Uh, another really deep one here. Um, this one, I think, is here. Uh, nope. Okay, that's the that's the print. Ah, there we go. Right, another halfpenny. This one, a uh, bit more modern. This one, I think. Um, I think so. Possibly a Victoria. And uh, anything on the other side? Don't know. But uh, okay, we'll check that out. But uh, all right, coin number four. Let's keep moving. Well, I guess that's about it then for today anyway. Um, it's half past two now and I know George has got to get back home. Um, he's got a job on and that, so uh, we're going to work our way back to the car. Um, we've had four hours here. Pretty productive four hours, I have to say. I uh, quite enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, we'll come back. But uh, meanwhile, as I say, we'll, we're going to have to call it for the day. Um, work our way back to the car and uh, um, next one out is the um, Rotary Club Rally on Sunday. Uh, quite looking forward to that. So, um, okay, so if there's anything comes up on the way back to the car, we'll let you know. Otherwise, uh, hey, good luck, happy hunting, and we'll catch you next time. Well, would you believe this? About 15 yards from the gate. Uh, solid 95. I dug that out, still in the hole. I dug that lot out, still in the hole. I went to dig some more, looked down, and right at the bottom there um, is the last coin of the day. Uh, still there. Come on now. I know it's there, I saw it. Yep, there we go. All right, George the Fifth Penny. Um, yeah, a bit dated and everything on that. I've got to say, the coppers out of this field are pretty good. Uh, 19, 1919 I think. Great, okay. Um, well, I'll take that, um, but I really have to go now.